So, how many of you have had this happen before? You woke up, you looked out the window, it was a beautiful day. You thought, I've got to go flying. And this will be the perfect opportunity to capture it all on my brand new action cam. You head out to the airport, mount your GoPros on your plane, and head off. You're thinking, this is going to be the best flight ever. I can't wait to show my friends what it's like to fly. But then, you get back home, you download the video off your cameras, and you're in shock. Everything is ruined. It looked like you were flying through a bowl of jello. What the f happened? Well, don't worry. You never have to have that happen again. I found a solution for that jello problem, and I'd like to show you how to avoid it too. So before I go straight into showing how to get rid of the jello, I thought I would give a little explanation of why action cams are especially susceptible to getting vibration in jello. In a conventional 35mm camera, the shutter opens all at one time, exposing the film to the full image all at once. So even though the object being filmed may be in motion, the whole object, all parts of the object, move an equal amount during the short time that the shutter is open. An action cam, like a GoPro, works in a totally different fashion. These types of cameras use a light-sensitive chip to capture the image, and the camera uses a technique referred to as a rolling shutter, which is not actually a shutter at all. Rather, the digital chip is continuously exposed to the image coming through the lens, but the camera reads the image off the chip, starting in the upper left-hand corner and moving down to the lower right-hand corner, one pixel at a time. So if you're shooting a moving object, by the time that scan has moved across the chip from the upper left to the lower right hand corner reading each pixel, the object has had the opportunity to move significantly. And the most common effect of this movement that you'll see from a rolling shutter technique are propellers that look like they're sheared horizontally. But in addition to that artifact, the one that we're talking about here is Jell-O. And that occurs when the resonant vibration of the aircraft is moving the camera back and forth during the rolling shutter scan, causing that wobbling effect. So the secret to avoiding jello is to isolate the camera from the resonant vibration of the airframe. And when the camera is held steady with respect to the aircraft, you'll get that rock solid shot that you're always after. And the best tool that I've found for isolating my cameras from the resonant vibration of the aircraft is the Vibex camera mount. The secret to their mount lies in the two gel pads that isolate the camera completely from the airframe. If the resonant vibration of the airframe can't reach the camera, then there's no way there can be distortion during the rolling shutter. And therefore, no jello. So to demonstrate the dramatic difference that the Vibex can make, I'm putting it on one wing strut and I'm putting a GoPro on the other with a standard RAM mount. And in the end I'll composite the two videos together from each camera to clearly show in a side-by-side -side comparison the difference it can make to isolate your camera from the airframe. And off we go. As you can see, I have the video feed from the pilot side Vibex mount displayed on the left, and the co-pilot side, non-isolated RAM mount is shown on the right. You can already clearly see the difference the isolation mount is having. It's producing a very stable image, while at the same time the RAM mounted camera's image is full of jello. In neither of these video feeds are any filters or other gimmicks being used. Both cameras are standard GoPro 3 Plus Black editions running in 1080p 30 frame per second mode. And the fact that both images are still suffering from shearing on the propeller 
due to the rolling shutter effect is proof that there were no corrective filters on the cameras. And by the way, the use of a neutral density filter could have cleared up that prop shear, but we'll save that discussion for another time. And I'd like to clarify too, I have not done any post-processing on the video either. All video images are straight off the camera's memory chips and imported directly into Adobe Premiere for editing. Bottom line, the only difference between the images filled with jello and the ones that aren't is the use of the Vibex camera mount. And for those of you that are a little skeptical and thought, yeah, but what about that Murphy 3500 you showed in the opening shots? Nothing is going to fix that kind of jello. Well, take a look here. It's incredible. The image is rock solid with the Vibex. No jello at all. So whether you're flying the Family 172 or something way more exotic, you now have a way to capture the beauty of flight. Jello free. If you enjoyed watching this video, please click the thumbs up button. And if you would like to help contribute to the making of my videos, you can do that at my Patreon page at the link shown here. Thanks for watching.